Okay, I'm back. Um, FSLR was yesterday, Koala Bear. Nothing really there. Uh, I really only have one watch today, and I wanted some other ideas, but nobody's really given me any other ideas that are good ideas, um, unfortunately. So I guess this is it. It either works or it doesn't. Sig is out. This is definitely not my favorite thing to do here, this amba. So expect whip just like the CCL. I know, Jackie, you gave me more ideas than anyone. Thank you. I wish I liked them. I wish I did, but I didn't. Doesn't mean you shouldn't give them to me. I'll, I'll weed through them very quickly. What's good and what's not good. I mean, th this is a good gallop. It rates well. I just don't know if it's going to work right, which it has to, A, and B, it's going to be whippy. So if we do it, we're getting out very, very quickly. And no, I don't like this. All right. I know. I know you're trying. But in these types of periods right now where we're in between earning seasons, which we are, we have to be very careful. Uh, actually, there were some good watches. There were some decent gaps in the last two days. So I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. That's why I say give me, give me every idea you have for everyone. Not everybody writes stuff, but the more the better that I can flip through it very quickly and see what's good, what's not. But SIG is not a good long. Um, if the market holds today, that might. But I'm not certain that happens either. certain one thing though market's gonna have a big move today but I don't know what direction it's in so take that for what it's worth I think that's very obvious to me today so we're gonna just do this and we're gonna get out quick if it sets up and then if for some reason the market decides it wants to drop today then you could retake this if you want to and now we have a big spread where did that come from Hmm. Everyone should be out of Netflix, though. Good luck. Good luck. All right, let's see. The VODs is out of it. Thank God. All right, here we go. See what this puppy's gonna do. It's looking good. Well, it's gonna work out. Well, I guess it's gonna break. All right, don't be in it yet. I'll tell you when. Just sitting here. It hasn't moved. Okay, stop's gonna be 65. 39 by 65, Amba. It's really hard, but don't take it till it hits. It's sitting here, but really don't take it till it hits in case it pops. Oh crap, no, I didn't get it. There it goes, there it goes, right there. That was it. Oh man, no, I did not do it. It hit, it hit, it, it just dropped. It just, did anyone get it? I didn't want it here. This is it, this is it. It's gonna go to 43. Oh gosh, darn it. It, this, here, if you, if any single solitary human being in this room just did that trade, get out of it before this bar closes. I think we're gonna get another setup. I did not hit it. It looked like it was going to go, and I just didn't want to do it because it could have flown over the 45. But in the moment that it hit that number that I called, it just dropped almost a dollar. Can you freaking believe that? Did anyone get it? That was an amazing call. 
Oh, for two seconds there, I almost hit it. But you know what? By the time you put the stop in, you, these ones like that, it may not hit you out. Like if that had flown over 45, you, you would have gotten blown through your stop. Here, let's just get another setup in it. Wow, that, this is going to go. Big Fudge got it. Best Trader got it. Devon's got it. Best Trader got it and jumped the gun. Yeah, here it goes. It's going to go down. 43. This could even swoosh right now. It was a great call. I really didn't want to do it till triggered. I'm trying to be strict. It's not earning season. But as soon as it hit the number that I told you to take it, it collapsed. A dollar. I think we're going to get another setup in it. I really didn't want to do it. This is going to go right to 43. It's swishing. All right. So we're going to, we're going to get another setup in it. But literally there, that was amazing. All right. Let me just double check everything else here. Let me just double check everything else. All right, let's see. I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen. But, you know, with the volume in it, I, I thought it was open. I mean, you you watched it. It, it wasn't moving. So there was two, the part of me was like, okay, it's not open yet. But the volume was there, and I'm like, oh, crap. And then it went. I mean, the proper thing to do is not take the trade deal triggers. So, And if I had pressed it, there was, I would not have gotten filled anywhere near the number that I gave. But it went right in the money. Here, let's just see. We're going to try to cheat the entry here, I think, though, people. <clears throat> Let's see what we can get. Okay, we're going to do this. If it hits, 45, it's going to be a bigger stop by 10. 45 by 10. 45 by 10, if it hits, AMBA. And if we get something better, I'll let you know. Those of you that did that first trade, though, that was amazing. And you definitely should be out. Koala Bear and Dubod's got it. Wow, a lot of people got it. Am I the only one that didn't get that? Okay, let's watch it here. 45 is valid. Here, take it. Take it and get in it so you don't miss it this time. And let's put it at 15. 15. Here it goes. This is rocking and rolling. Here, you had to be in it. 43. 43. I'm going to watch for bounce. Amba. This is better than not doing anything at all. It was late. It was late. We're cheating this entry a little bit because the first one was a one. Put it at 44.15. Crap, I got to wait. This is really moving fast. I think it keeps going now. Here. You got to watch it. Watch it. I can't look at any of your questions right now because it's moving way too fast. 08 was the low. It's got to break 43 or I'm out because this is a late trade here. Here, 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 here. 43.05. very 05 was the previous low here 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 I'm out I'm out I'm out I'm out I took it all right we can watch it a little bit see if it sets up again but I don't want to hold for a bounce here good exit okay excellent excellentio here this was really the one and I called it but it just went too fast now this was late I mean this is don't ever do this without me this is completely just cheating the entry 100%, but we got something. Now let's just watch it and see how it acts. I think it's gonna bounce back somewhere in here. All right, that was good, excellent. All right, here's the market. Um, kicked ass on that one. Yes, hold on one second. Yeah, the market's gonna have a big move today. The market's gonna have a big move today. It's either gonna be up or it's gonna be down. And that's all that I know. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the ambient. All right, is anyone still in this? I'll watch this for a little bit here. I don't know if it sets up again. It's set up twice. It's going to try to break 43. If you're in the second trade, it was late. Cheated the complete entry in that. You had to follow me. It's going to bounce somewhere. I'd really put the stop at break even if you did that second one. And if you did the first one, you absolutely 150% should be out. This is moving very quickly, though, and really could break 43. Brad missed both. You obviously did not have your coffee today. I did. Let's, let's see where this could really go, because I, did, I didn't really look at these kind of targets for this. Here, 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 Amba. Is anyone still in it? Oh, 42. Ford. Here it goes. Here it's going to break 43. Anyone that's still in AMBA, there it goes. There it goes. It just broke. 42.80. Boom, 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 boom. If you're still in it, hand the button. Look at this. 
What a nice call. Man, the second cheat entry even went big. Can you believe that? Here, 4260. Where did it get? Somewhere in here is going to bounce. I may not retake it because I'm very happy for getting it once I miss this beautiful call. 68. I think 42 could happen here. 42, 41. I mean, this is just this is just straight selling down like a banshee. Brad, don't chase it. You have to be careful with what you're doing. You missed the trade today. You missed it. Here, Amba. Some people are still in a triple seven. Literally, your hand should be in the button. Beautiful short. Oh, well, only one thing to look at today. Luckily, it rated well. I didn't know if it's set up or not. I did not want this to go over 45. I didn't jump the gun in the entry. I really think it's a good policy, particularly for, you know, these in-between periods where we don't have a lot of gaps. If we had jumped the gun on this and got flipped out of it, we wouldn't have anything else to play today. I mean, there was no other watches, nothing else I liked. This is still going. Is everybody out of this? If you're not, put a stop over 42.70 and call it a day. I mean, you could write it down if you're still, if, if anyone in the world is still in this, just put a stop at 42.70 and write it. Galahad, did you do this today? Brad, you really weren't awake today or something. I don't know. Everyone should have got it. Because if you didn't get the first one, you got the second one. And here's the market. Wow. We are going to do something today. All right. Where was I? Sig. Eh. And no one should go long this. But if you did, it was a $2 stop. And it looks like it moved a buck. Well, a little bit more than that. Buck and a half. I just don't like this here. What was the other one? Oh, Netflix. Devaz is still in the second trade. I would not be. Mark Mo missed the first one and got the second one. I mean, I'm surprised how many people got the first one. You jumped the gun. You obviously did. There's no way you could have not jumped the gun and gotten that second trade. I mean, the first trade. I do think this was the open though. It's just that this is wild. I remember this is wild, just like CCL was yesterday. Oh, Starbucks and CCL. Did everyone see how they closed? That was like watching paint dry in those yesterday. But they both worked later in the afternoon. They just ran out of time. It was like they were they were heading down. Let's. I forgot about these. No, nothing here. Let's look at this one. This should be lower. Let's look at this. Hmm. Well, this did gap down today. Now it's pushing back. This is kind of a mess. Nah, just looks like me. All right, Amba. I think that's it. Because we did two in here and it had a big move in the markets. Anybody's guess. And this is not another setup in here. We really cheated the second entry and we got it. Um, this had a big move. I'm not saying you can't play this at some point later today, but I certainly wouldn't go back into this 10 minutes into the open here now after the move it just made. We got it. We got it. It was a great call. Um, you'd have to play it again in a higher time frame if you'd want to do it. It's not to say it doesn't keep dropping. I think 42 is really probably going to happen here by 10 o'clock, but there's no proper entry in here. Remember, you need that with the stop. And actually, that reminds me of something that I wanted to say. Brad, are you listening? Brady there. No, I didn't call this again in here because this isn't this isn't setting I don't think this goes again in here. I mean it might it might not. I didn't call anything again. There were two trades called in this, and the second one was a cheat. And don't do that without me. Um Brad had emailed me about Starbucks or something. I don't know. Whatever the one was you were in yesterday, Brad. And then it reminded me of something that I thought was a good point that I wanted to make for both Brad and Galahad. And actually, this is a good overall point for the market as well. What's the most important... I'm going to ask before I say what I'm going to say. What's the most important thing 
to make money in the market. Anybody, anybody at all. I just wanted to make sure that Brad and Galahad were listening. What's the most, what's the, what's critical? What do you have to get right in order to make money? Triple seven says money management. Free Maverick says manage your risk. Mimi says consistency. James Diaz says listen to Melissa. James gets the star because James is right. <laughs> Not to chase it and check it out since Vincent. Mountain Girl says institutional buying and selling. Koala Bear got it right. I'm not going to say it out loud yet. Let's see if anybody else. Is anybody else, is anybody else to say, anything else to say? <clears throat> James said listen to me, which is basically the right answer. <laughs> but Koala Bear really gave the answer that I was thinking. Um, so does anyone else want to say anything before I say it? You gotta get the direction right. So the number one important thing is you have to get the direction right. So you have to get the direction right that something's going. And Mountain Girl, I think she kind of meant that when she said institutional buying and selling because that's what's gonna, that's the direction. You gotta be in something long. If it's rising and but today is selling off, you wanna be short the stock. You would not wanna go long the stock. Nowhere, no how, no time today, okay? So the most critical thing to make money in the market, whether you're an investor or a day trader, but, but particularly if you're an active day trader, you gotta get the direction right, okay? So that's number one. What's number two? What's number two after the direction? What's the next most critical thing? Trend Trader got it. Brad got it. I'm not going to say it yet. Here, you can do this if you want it. You can do this if you want it. This is a scalp if you want to put this top at 43.25. It's a big stop. It's going to roll over right here. If you want to reshort Amber right here, you can do it right now. Put the stop at 43.25. I'm not doing that. I'm done for the day, but it looks like it's going to head right down to 42 if you want it. Um, Brad and Trend Trader got it. Koala Bear got it. We're on number two. Number two, after you get the direction white, what's the second thing? A bunch of people are saying manage your risk and sizing. And actually, 777 said that earlier too with money management. But the bottom line is that I'm not even going to put them on the list. I'm going to... I'm not even going to say that sizing, proper sizing or money management on the list because that's just that's just a given. That is so that is so basic that no one should ever get that wrong. And yet people do. Here this goes. Did anyone just do this again? You're scalping this. You're literally scalping this down if you did it for a third time. Anyways, the second thing is you got to get your entry right. Jackie said learn the course. That's that's also the right answer. Your entry so first you got to get the direction right then you got to get the entry right money management is a given it's like saying you got to get out of bed in the morning and open up your eyes to see the chart looks like i'm not even going to go over that that is a given you can it's just common sense that you cannot risk a different amount of money in every trade and and manage every trade differently that's common sense in fact it's so common sense that i'm not even going to discuss it here did anyone just quick do that if you did, you had to scalp it. Be careful. Um, anyway, so it's the entry. So guess what? If you get the direction right and you get the entry right, guess what? What's the What's the next thing I'm going to say? What is it? What do you think, Galahad? Brad? What's the point I'm trying to make? Trend trader saying exit. Brad saying when to get out. Vincent saying first exit. Nope. Guess what? There is nothing else. The exit doesn't matter. Of the 200 plus trading days in a year, guess how many times the exit matters if you get the direction right or the entry right? One, maybe two. And the reason I'm saying this is because yesterday is a good example of that. 
The I missed the exit yesterday in CCL. That might happen twice a year for me, if that, okay? In fact, I can't remember the last time that happened. Bottom line is, if you get the direction right in something and you get a perfect entry, which I do, I do 99% of the time, where you get out doesn't matter. It does not matter. It does not matter. It just doesn't matter. The most important thing is getting the direction right in the entry because where you get out then doesn't really matter. You can make a little, you can make medium, you can make a lot. It's up to you. Yesterday I missed the exit. That might happen twice a year, okay? And it was just such a freak thing that you can't really worry about it. But bottom line is, it is extremely important to get the direction right. And it is extremely important to get the entry right. And one of the reasons that we make money so quickly here is because I'm so great with the entries. So where you get out isn't that important. If you find yourself being overly critical of your exits in your trades, then you're missing the boat, okay? Because it's not that important unless you miss your exit completely and you fail to get out at what is then the, the low of the day and the stock never goes back to that price. And actually CCL did go back to that price and it actually did go back exactly to the number, which kind of sucked. There was nothing I could do. No way we would have had the stop over 62. No way I would have ever called that. But you know, looking back at this, I'm like, well, that's really interesting. The read on the gap was perfect. The entry on the gap was perfect. I missed my exit, but as it turns out, it went back to the price that I could have gotten out of in the morning later in the day and not that far away. If I didn't use stops, which I do, and is, is critical to day trading, um, which so I'm not gonna stop doing that, I would have ended up with no loss in this and the amount of money I had for the morning. But you know, this happens, like I said, once or twice a year when I'm expecting a bigger move in something and then it has that giant mungus move over the high. I did not want that to happen today in this. So we did the second trade, but overall, you know, it doesn't matter where you get out. If your profit is your profit and you're consistently getting the direction right and you're consistently getting the entry right, you are making money. And that's what we do. The amount of the total amount doesn't matter because sometimes it just will be a lot. And sometimes you'll get out and it'll keep going like if you got out of this first trade today in the first two bars. But that wasn't the wrong thing to do. That was the right thing to do. This had a big move. You could have never predicted that this would keep going. And I'm specifically referring to Galahad because this, because Galahad is always trying to pick where something's going to go next. He's more concerned about the future than he's concerned about the present. You need to be concerned about what is happening right now today. You are convinced 150% that Netflix would continue. Guess what? It's not. It's not continuing today. You were wrong. You were flat on, full on wrong about this. But it doesn't even matter. You shouldn't have even been thinking about this. You should be living in the moment of what you're doing right now. Right now, today, live in what's happening right here. Whatever you are in, you have to live in the moment of what's happening. Okay? If you are taking a trade, why is this not coming over here? If you're taking a trade and you've got the direction right and you've got the entry right, that's it. That's all that you need to worry about. You've got to focus on what's happening in this moment. If you're on tomorrow, if you're on a week from now, and this is, you know, if you're doing a, overnights or, or swing trades or options, you are completely missing the boat. You're not living in the moment, which is you're up this amount of money right now. What's the stock doing? What's happening? Do you have the direction right? Do you have, do you have a good quality entry? Third trade, you took a loss in, in what? No one should have any losses today in this. If you did this here, you should have gotten out, whether it's here or here. If you did this with me here, you should be up money and gotten out where I told you to get out. If you did this in here, first of all, I did not do this, but I said, if you wanna do this, you can. What did I say? If you do this, you must scalp this trade. Scalping means what? If you don't know what scalping means, you shouldn't do it. Scalping means you take it and you go down, 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 and as soon as it starts to back up at all, you gotta get out. 
scalping, which is not what we do. We're looking for nice, solid, fluid moves, which was these first two trades in here, or you did it all in one, or you did it in two. A scalp is to try to get a push down in here where you're gonna get out. You're not looking for any target, any risk to reward. If it starts to back up at all, you take it out. You should not have stopped on this trade. You shouldn't have let yourself stop out in this trade. You shouldn't have done this trade at all, Galahad, because if you did this trade and made money, you should be happy and stop. And your goal should have been in for the day. If you hate scalping, I don't know why you did it. Anyways, the reason that people find day trading challenging is that they are horrific at entries. That's really why people suck at day trading. And that's something that I'm very good at. Now, there are times where people get the directions right and stuff. I think it would be hard pressed for any day trader to look at Amber today and decide to go long it. Although there will be some idiots to try to go long this in here if this scoops around in the five minute. But bottom line is this stock will stay red today. But entries are challenging for people. So then they, they focus so much on trying to get the maximum, maximum, maximum exit that they can because of piss poor entries. We don't have to worry about that because the entries I call, I call and shorts are usually near the high of the day. I mean, the entry on CCL yesterday in the morning was the high of the day. The entry in this today was the high of the day. JNC, the same thing. So, you know, and NKT are the same thing. Don't worry about where you're getting out. Just make sure you do the entry when I call it. Now you do have to do it. So if you miss this here, you had to do this one. And if you missed them both, then, you know, you didn't have your coffee this morning. But if you're in a long-term investor, it's not as critical. It's not as critical. You have to be in the right direction. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just if, you know, if you're if a long-term investor and you're, you're an Amazon, well, let's just go to Netflix. If you're a long-term investor, I wouldn't buy Netflix here, but you know what? You could. You could. The direction's up. It's moving higher. If you buy it here today and it's in your retirement account, it's going to wiggle. It's going to jiggle. I'm not saying it holds this price, but this stock is higher in the next 12 to 24 months. And if you're not retiring for the next 15 years, you can buy this stock today. The entry in this is not critical. Now, if you know how to trade, you could take a good entry and get the direction right. But if you're just a person, you got to get the direction right if you decide to take a position. And you have to be in something that's a good quality stock to be invested in, specifically if it is your retirement. But the entry isn't that important. If it's moving higher, get in. Okay? And your exit isn't anything you're concerned about because you're not thinking about targets. If it's your long-term investment, you're, you don't need that money too much later in life. And even at the point you need it, you'll take it. It has nothing to do about where the stock's going. All right? So day trading and investing is very different. And some of you in your minds that are doing these options, it's really messed you up. And I think you can look at options just the same way you do with day trades. You take the move, you get in the move, you have the momentum, you make money, you get out of the first target, boom, doom, doom, doom. You don't have to hold these things forever. Now, Dubot's had a great trade yesterday. He held Netflix all the way up near the top. And, you know, this could still be higher. It's got a week left. But, you know, I think... The exit on this yesterday was a good exit, a solid exit. This is setting up again. I really wouldn't do it. But if you're dying for another trade, this is a proper setup and it's not a scalp. You can short amber right here, right in here and put the stop at 75 type. It's not a small stop. The stop is 43.75, it's almost a dollar. It's a late trade, it's setting up on the five, it's triggered if you want it, you can do it. But I don't know why you would. If you made money in the first two trades today or scalp the third trade properly, then you're out for the day and you should stop. Because I don't know where the market goes today and I said that 20 minutes ago. Anyways, I hope I made my point. I hope I made my point. My point is that it doesn't matter where you get out if you get the direction right and you get a good entry. The choice is yours. You're in control of it. You can't make the stock move, but you're in control where you want to get out. If you have to book money every single second of your life that you're breathing, then as soon as the stock starts to back up a little bit, get out. What do I mean by back up? The stock drops. You're up $100, $200, $300, $400. Now you're up $350. Then you got to get out. Okay? That's what I mean by, by, by backing up. 
not that you'd be negative, but I mean you're up more and then you start to not be up as much and then you take it off. That's what I mean. But you have freedom of choice if you want to hold something. It's not like you are restricted by the market or the stock itself. It's not controlling you. You, you did what you needed to do. Your job is done. You got it. Yesterday was a freak thing and it happens uh, you know, maybe once or twice a year. Galahad lost money today. I don't know, maybe you guys can give some Galahad some advice. How is it possible that any person on this in this room here today could have lost money shorting AMBA? I mean, I don't see how that's physically possible. I just don't. Um, does anybody else have any other questions? James says, listen to Melissa, don't make this overly difficult. Yes, thank you. Brad's saying he waits for it to drop more. Brad, are you in this trade here now? This is a big stop, but you could be in this now. 75 is a stop. If you take 100 shares, you're risking 100 bucks or thereabouts. But that's what I'm saying, Brad. It, why, why you're waiting for it to drop more I get it I mean yesterday was a different situation like Starbucks for example this looked so good so good in the afternoon I mean this had 50 places to add in here I don't know if anybody did any ads I only sent the one email out but I mean this was like holding 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 this just I, I thought for sure between 330 and 4 this would drop and break 5550 like it could have happened in two minutes it never did but this was this looks so great so there are times we want more but the difference between wanting more is looking at something like this how can you want more when you have something that that just did this like that's do you know what i'm saying like don't want more if something just did that you shouldn't have wanted more if you did this if you missed it it's your own fault do better tomorrow do better tomorrow. Now this I think you could be in, but you're taking a chance here. It's very, very late. It's 10 o'clock. I don't know what the market does. It's a big stop. If I were conservative and I would you, I probably wouldn't do anything today. And I said, well, tomorrow I gotta get up early and I gotta have more coffee and I gotta do better tomorrow and I have to be focused. Kualibar is saying if you took the scalp call, you didn't get out backed up. But Galahad said he did this call. Galahad did this call, which made money. So again, how is it possible that Galahad could have lost in this today? That's just not possible unless he didn't size himself right. So if he did this trade, which he said that he did and made money and then did this trade and he stopped, I don't see how he could have lost. And yet he did, he signed out. Brad, what are you doing? Are you in this? Are you not in this? What's happening with you? So everyone made money today but Galahad. Brad was flat. Brad isn't in it. He's being ultra conservative. That's fine. All right, let me look and see what's out for the night. Nope, he said he did the second trade. He wrote it in the room. Five. The only four. Eh, I didn't really see anything amazing tonight. Anyways, I used to have that argument all the time with a, a, a person that I used to talk to trading about, which I haven't talked to in years about the exits he was a fanatical he would almost rub it in my face every day where he would trade all afternoon to things went farther and i i got out in the morning which i always do and i had a perfect entry and made money got out and he would be in it all day get a bigger target but he never traded the size that i did not even close not even half not even 25 percent of the size that i did to be trade so he would hold something all day and make less money than me or maybe he'd hold all day and make the same and that to me is idiotic so 
you know, part of the incentive also of wanting to trade with size, which it does take gumption to hit the button with a couple thousand shares really quickly, but the, the relief is that you're out so quick. It, well, it sucks when it stops, but if you can stomach the risk, you know, you're done. And it's not scalping because we're getting the move, but to take that kind of size and get in and out really quick, it's, you know, I think it's easy. Whereas if you're in something, like if you'd had, now just listen to me here. If you had AMBA and you took it at 931, and let's say you took 10,000 shares, I'm just gonna throw a number out there to make it seem crazy. Since, let's say you took 10,000 shares of AMBA at 931, and you're up as soon as it hit, and you're up here now even, and you've got to sit in the trade all day to try to get it down to 42 or 41, which you think it's going to go and it looks like it's going to, but you don't know because it's not there yet and you have this huge size and you're up in the trade, but you don't know and what if it flips around and what if the market goes green and what if the market turns? See, that's not the mentality to me of a day trader. What we do is more day trading. To sit and wait all day for something to go to some big number with size, I think is very, very stressful. So much easier to take it in and out quick, specifically with size. Uh, da -da -da -da. Holding all day versus quick in and out for same, similar, is far less powerful trade. Exactly. Exactly. All right. I don't really like anything tonight, but it doesn't mean we're not going to get anything tomorrow. It just means I don't see anything that I'm like in love with. And thank God everyone's out of Netflix. And here goes the market. Market's gonna have a big move today, and it appears it's gonna be down. Well, that is very, very interesting. <laughs> we are going to sell off like a banshee today. Big red. That is really something. I mean, it could, we could have gone either way. I knew we'd have a big move today. We will. I didn't know if it'd be up or down, like I said this morning. But this will not be a BB red. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. What do you want to go over? Any questions from anyone at all? Good day. Nice, solid, good, profitable day. Any questions? Hello, is anyone there? <laughs> Am I talking to myself? All right, listen, no one has any questions? Had a good day? I have no clue what we do tomorrow. I know that there isn't anything on tap, so we could get one out of the sky. You never know. And certainly we will have, the market is gonna move down today in a big way. Can you believe that? You stinker. This is gonna, people are going to go crazy. Do you buy money today? Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. All right. Have a good day. 10.05. I'm headed to the gym. I'm on TV later. I'll see you, all of you tomorrow morning. Very good. Thank you.